Alrighty guys, as you guys can see, sorry for the difficulties, but uh, as you guys can see, it broke our scissors, so we had to go to regular art scissors. These were turkey scissors, that just shows you how strong it is, and uh, when we cut it open, we'll just open up these flaps like that. And we'll take a sharp knife and separate the skin from the scale. And what he's doing right now is like I said, cutting right there, cut right there. And we came all the way down to the tail, cut right there, and the cut right there. And now what he's about to do is he's about to open it up and separate the thick skin away from the meat. Pull back. And so I'm going to pull this back. And the way we're doing it is it's boneless. So the way we're cutting it right now, whenever you fry it and stuff, you don't have to worry about any bone. And so as you guys can see, we're separating the scaly bone part, I guess you can say, away from the meat. makes it easier when you have a nice sharp knife. I'll pull that right here in the spot right here. You got it? Put it right there. You got it? Down, so because I've been using because I cut it with the uh, oh, you did all right. I dug this one down when I was cutting on it, remember? And like I said, this is four foot and two inches, so I just want to put in your head four foot and two inches of fillet on a plate. Pull that right here. Gotta get past that beat now. And now we're down towards the tail. This also avoids gutting Hello. the gar, so you don't even have to worry about that. And all of that is just meat, nothing but white meat. And then we go to the other side, and we do the exact same thing. And 
like I said yesterday, as you guys seen, if you guys have watched my other videos, we caught two other ones. One was about almost the size of this, and the other one was just a little bit smaller. This is like the Godzilla of alligator guards. Oh, and I believe when we looked it up, they said this is a long nose, long nose alligator guard. So this isn't the alligator guard that you guys see in your Bass Pros and stuff. It's a smaller version. They get about this size and uh, about four feet bigger. They said they get up to about eight feet. So that's only, this is only half the size. And now right here is the spine, which is this white part. And what we'll do is we'll just cut against the spine, and that's nothing but meat. Stay along the ribs. You just stay along the ribs right there, because the ribs come under like that, and you'll just cut. While this is going guys, I'll be right back about to go get a Ziploc bag to put that meat in and you guys do need to buy a big Ziploc bag. Right another knife. Alrighty. And normally, guys, without all the complications that we just went through, this would take only about five minutes. Normally, with gutting it and stuff, it takes a whole lot longer time. Yes, 
take a look at the big old filet right there. Let's see this one right here. See, yeah, I like that meat there. Yeah. I'm about to take off. And like I said, we're not professionals, but uh, we do know how to do it correctly. That's it. And that is your alligator gar. That's regularly your belly. That's baby. the belly and as you can see, we avoided that. Uh, I suggest if you guys like gaming and stuff like that, that you guys subscribe to Online Forever. And uh, that's about it.